Hello, in this video I will construct a back-to-back -back stem and leaf graph. The data set consists of the total points scored per game by the Rams and the Chargers for the 2021-2022 season. And that's just including the regular games, no playoff games are included. Alright, so the first step in constructing the stem and leaf plot is to first determine the stems. I've typed in the data according to the the occurrence based on the time or the week that the teams played but uh, to really effectively construct the graph we need to be able to sort the data from in ascending order from lowest to highest. Um, so I'm going to use the sort feature that Excel offers. I'm just going to select the current selection. First I'll sort the data for the Rams. Then I'll sort the data for the Chargers. Okay. Comparing the data we can see that the lowest value is 6. So if we were to construct a stem and leaf plot using six, the stem would be zero. So the stem would be zero and the leaf would be six. The highest value is 47. So that will have stem four with leaf seven. Thus, the stems will have a range of zero, one, two, three, and four. So on the left side, we'll go ahead and construct the leaves for the Rams. And if we notice, the lowest value for the Rams is 10. Thus, there are no leaves for stem 0 for the Rams. Thus, we simply type in none. For stem 1, there's two values, 0 and 6. We have to be careful in a back-to-back -back stem and leaf, on the left side, we write the numbers in descending order, not ascending order. So we would write six first and then zero. So our result would be six followed by zero. And uh, let's go ahead and we'll, we will use the align right feature. For stem two, we have, let's type this in. Once again, I'm, I'm using the align right feature and we're typing the data values from highest to lowest. It's always in descending order. So that is eight, space eight. Do not type in commas when typing in the data. Six, zero, zero, zero. Okay, we will need to extend this a bit. So stem two, make sure I captured all the values, two, eight, seven, six, and three zeros. For stem three, it's all of these values. So that's two eights, so eight, eight, seven, four, 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 zero, zero. And then once again, I need to extend this out a bit. There we go. So now we have, and then for the stem four, we can see that the rams do not have any leaves in stem four. So we type none. So we have the ram stem and leaf portion completed. Now we have to construct the chargers. Now the chargers do have a stem zero, it's six. And let's use a line to the left for all the spaces. Stem one. Now when we type in the ram's stem uh, leaves, we have to write those in ascending order. So stem one, there's two values, three and seven. Stem 2 has all of these values. 
So that's 0, 0, 4, 7, 8, 8, and then 9. And just to refresh our memory, when constructing a stem and leaf, if the stem is 2, all we do is we, lift, we list all the right digits. Those are going to be the leaves. So stem 2 for the chargers has a group of, let me just create a space, a group of six, 3, 6, 7, 8, and the same is true for the rams. And you could just compare the data. Um, now let's take a look at stem 3. So that would be 0, 2, 4, 7. And then finally for stem 4, the leaves are 1, 1, and 7. And that would complete the leaf portion for the chargers. So this is how we would construct a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot. Just to refresh our memory, the stem and leaf, we bifurcate each data value into a stem and a leaf. The leaf is always the last digit. The stem are all the digits that per precede the leaf. When we have data on the right side, we write that data in ascending order. Data on the left side is in descending order. And once the stem and leaf plot is constructed, then you can go ahead and compare the data sets to see if there's any patterns you can recognize. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this helps you.